guys, Matt, Mike, Iron Trap Garage, working on the free tee. So uh, this is literally the first time we both sat in it. Uh, I sat in it in the end of the last one, but wanted to see how the bracing was that I made, and it seems okay. We didn't fall down. It holds both of us, so I think that's plenty good. Yeah. If we fall through right now, then we know we need to do a slight <laughs> redesign. Yeah, but we just start over. Start over. <laughs> so uh, now that we've got the back half of the body built, which is pretty pretty awesome. Uh, we need to start working on the door jams, inner rockers, just somehow connect the front to the back. And I've been staring at pictures and thinking about this for pretty much a week now, and um, I think we have an idea. So we're going to start with just getting uh, the front of the door jam and the A pillars, get some box tubing in there, and then connect that to the pieces we have at the firewall, and, uh, and then hopefully start working on some of the like inner door sill type area to connect the two halves together. So we'll see how far we get, but uh, let's just try to make it more solid. A-pillar that we made. Uh, so we heated up the A-pillar and formed it to flow with the body. We didn't catch any clothing on fire today, which is good. So this fits down in here like so. It's notched for the front piece. Gotta figure out the secret handshake to get it in. There we go. So that fits in nicely. Just like so. We're going to zap that into place. It's going to actually allow the cow to sit down on the frame and then we can take out this front piece that we put in eventually. So it gives it a nice sturdy resting place and we might even make a feet, uh, some more feet to attach to the frame. 
Matt's going to work on making a kind of a rocker panel for back here to fill in this void that's kind of not used to tie the B pillar to the A pillar. So Matt's going to use his fancy new brake. He's been excited about it all night. So yeah, let's get to work. We'll bend up a couple pieces and we'll uh, check back in. For this uh, door sill area, if you will, on the T, it's a little complicated because of all the different shapes that are going on and, well, there's freaking basically nothing there. So, a little difficult to, to figure out. Um, I knew I wanted to do some kind of almost a boxed section out of uh, some 16 gauge. So, we came up with a basic uh, shape just using some strip of 20 gauge that we could bend by hand. And we came up with this rough cross section here of what we wanted this to look like. So this little foot on the bottom here is going to sit on the frame rail about halfway across the top of the frame rail. It's going to go up the distance that we need to the bottom of the door, across, and then it's going to come back onto itself and we can spot weld it so that it basically turns into a box section makes it nice and strong. Um, now the hard part was uh, up at the A pillar it's really tight against the frame. Uh, as the car gets bigger, as all cars kind of do, at the B pillar it gets larger and we needed to make this shape a lot bigger. So what we did, neither of us are mathematicians, uh, we're good at geometry or whatever else. Uh, we just made a second piece out of 20 gauge for the other side. So this is for the side that's at the B pillar, same basic shape, but you can see that in order for it to come back into itself, across this top here, it's quite longer. Uh, so we made these two pieces, took the measurements off of it, and that gave us the ability to lay it out on our panel here. So we have it laid out, all our different bend lines here, and we're gonna cut this off, use the fancy brake, use a little hammer action, and hopefully we'll have a piece that's usable and we're not throwing it in the trash. So.
Okay, so typical me, uh, after I got this all made, uh, and we started fitting it up at the end of the night, last night, um, with Mike. Uh, I realized I didn't really like how the piece fit. We uh, didn't really take in uh, thinking about the uh, how it would look on the end that's closer to the B-pillar. And there was basically a little gap that was next to the seat pan here. And I didn't really like that. I could have added and made a little piece, but I don't like doing that. I'd rather just make a new one from scratch. So what I did is made a new one here, and we cut a little notch. I haven't sanded it yet, um, but I cut a little notch in here that basically fits around the B-pillar. So it now sits up pretty tight against the seat pan, the face of it. And it pushes in there like so. And it's about flush. Do a little bit of sanding to get it exactly where we want it. But uh, it's pretty good. So this is pretty darn close to the edge of the door here, which is how we want for this like mock door sill we're making. The piece folds underneath, so it kind of disappears back into itself. So when you open the door, it doesn't look like it's just a sharp edge. It actually has a nice folded edge that goes inside. It's pretty flush with the edge of the frame here. Uh, like I said, I'll just do a tiny bit of sanding to get it to sit how I want once we're into fitting the doors a little nicer. Uh, but that's going to give us some strength so I can spot weld or stitch weld this piece into all of these points here. And that's going to get us sitting really nice um, and uh, give us some strength so we can get this front and rear half connected in here. And that should be a big step. So uh, I'm going to get this... Uh, some tabs made and get this thing spot welded and, and stitch welded in place and we can kind of start moving forward with the uh, with the other side. no clamps holding the door in place. There's just one in the front that's keeping it from swinging open uh, because there's no latch obviously yet in here. But man, we have a door that sort of fits and uh, this side of the car is like extremely solid. Um, I can't get over how much just adding that little piece really made to this, this side of the car. So this is pretty awesome. So the other thing is I don't know, the last time that this car probably did this, and I'm taking my clamp off here, but the door opens. Holy crap. Now, given it's fiberglass mess with a piece of um, rotten wood that's holding it on, but baby steps. So, door opens, it shuts, uh, it fits as good as it can for being a piece of crap door, but um, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, we just got to work on some of the sheet metal up in here that I haven't, we haven't touched at all yet. Um, this all needs to be repaired. But uh, overall, pretty cool um, that we are started, starting to connect the dots here. So um, 
we'll drop some shots in of you know how everything's connected, some close-ups, but the center rocker section or door sill, whatever you want to call it, uh, really connected the two of these areas together and uh, braced everything up really nice. I used 16 gauge uh, steel on it. Uh, instead of using the box tubing that we were uh, using with some of this other stuff, it looks a little nicer, um, weighs a little less, and has just as much strength by the time I put all those bends in it and made it into a, basically a box section. Pretty good. Um, one thing that we didn't show is I used uh, Eastwood Rust Encapsulator on the inside where the pieces came together. Uh, before I started welding everything, I dusted a bunch of that in there. So that's going to seal up the inside area that we can't get to now that it's welded in place. And uh, I'll probably dust a little bit of uh, Encapsulator over that whole area before uh, the end of the night here. Just to keep that from flash rusting since it was bare steel, um, it'll keep it sealed up until we're ready to... Uh, you know, start painting the rest of the inside of the car. So uh, that's all I got for this time. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, as always, we do videos every week, and uh, sometimes we go them two times a week. Uh, Tuesdays are the free tea. Fridays are Sweetheart Roadster, and uh, who knows what else we'll throw in between. So thanks, guys, for watching. I appreciate it. As always, have a good one.